everybody, this is Legomax1010. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom resource pack for items based on the name of the item. So, for example, in Hypixel Skyblock, you might know if you played this game mode, that there are many different types of items, and many of them share the same base model, such as all of the bows look the same, and with the normal resource pack. Many swords share the same model. Some things just don't have a sword icon, but they are a sword. And so I'm going to be showing you how to differentiate between these with the use of a custom resource pack. As you can see, I've just switched to my resource pack. And you can now tell they're all different. This one's even got an animation. This one should have an animation too, but it's... Oh yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. Um, so you can see these are all different. So if I go out of F1, you can see what all of these are called. Pigment Sword, Aspect of the End, Emerald Blade, Hurricane Bow, Scorpion Bow, Runan's Bow, Aspect of the Dragons, and a Reaper Sight. So th this really will help you to differentiate bows in specific, but also Aspect of the Dragons, Aspect of the End. They're very different weapons, so you kind of need to know what they are. It'll also help you differentiate between Enchanted Emeralds and Emerald Blades, and just other Golden Swords, such as like Leaping Swords and Pigment Swords. and uh, also, some of these textures I have. Oops, uh, you saw nothing. Uh, some of these textures I have borrowed and slightly modified, if not just completely stolen, from this uh, Skyblock resource pack. I'll probably be showing you it on screen. It's on the Hypixel forums. You can go and download it. It's pretty cool. It's basically just how I learned how to do this. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own textures and implement them into your own resource pack. So the textures that I've stolen. I have pretty much made three of them on here. I think I've stolen Pigment Sword, Aspect of the End, Aspect of the Dragons. I think I slightly modified it. I maybe changed the color a little bit. Renan's Bow and Hurricane Bow. But I have made the Scorpion, Emerald Blade, and Reaper Scythe on my own. Uh, so I'm going to be teaching you guys just kind of how to make custom textures as well as implement them into your resource pack. Alright, so for this video I'm going to be doing a Leaping Sword for my texture. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is open up my resource packs folder, which you can go to by, I just totally did it automatically there. Click escape, options, resource packs, and then open resource pack folder down here. And I'll open up your resource packs folder. As you can see, I only have one and that's the custom texture I have right here. If you don't have one, you'll have to create a new folder and then uh, zip it later. So I'd recommend creating on your desktop and then zipping it uh, after you get everything in it but you don't have to necessarily do that. So if you already have a resource pack, just go ahead and open it, uh, assuming this is the resource pack you want to add it to and not make a separate one to overlay. Okay, so I will be leaving a uh, basically just an empty template uh, in the description of this video to, uh, to download. So if you want to just have a resource pack that's empty or has the default textures in it, I will be leaving that in the description. So you can go edit the default textures for yourself and either copy them over and edit them or uh, just use them for whatever you want. So in order to make a custom texture, you're going to need Optifine. That's, I probably should have mentioned that in the intro, but you will need the Optifine mod. Uh, it's very easy to install. I will leave a link to the most recent download. I'm using 1.8 because that's better, but uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave a link to the website where you can go download it. Um, so you will need Optifine, but most people probably already have that. It's really easy to install, and it just it, there's no there's no negatives to it. Just makes your game perform better. It's just all around good. So if you don't have a resource pack folder yet, that's fine. Just go ahead and make a texture for it. When I do this, you won't just you won't need to pay attention to this quite yet. Just you'll have to rewatch the video uh, in a little bit different order. So I'm going to open this up, go into my assets, Minecraft, and then my MC Patcher folder, because this is where everything needs to be stored. So you probably will need to create an MC Patcher folder. Um, and then go into that, and there should be these, well, you should have to probably, you might have to create these folders, I'm not really sure. The main folder you're going to want to focus on is this CIT folder. This is where most of your custom textures are going to be going. At least I'm pretty sure, unless you can make custom mob textures. Oh yeah, Ender Dragon, that's the kind of one exception right there. But for Leaping Sword, we're going to want to go into Melee because it's a sword. And as you can see, here's all of the textures I have for swords. Emerald Blade, as you can see, End Sword, 
uh, zombie sword, rogue sword, reaper scythe, all of that. We're going to need to create a new item and name it. So first we're going to create a texture. Uh, to do this, I'm going to find the default textures, which I also have saved in my resource pack. And, and where are they? That's a good question. Textures. Minecraft textures, and then items. And I'm going to find gold sword in here, because I'm just going to edit that texture. Alright, so I found my gold sword texture. I've dragged it to my desktop. It's, it's really easy. Oh, well. Yeah, I already have it there. But you just drag it over. So I'm going to now open this with paint.net because that is a free Photoshop-like software that is uh, good. I That's what I use to make pictures, to edit pictures. So I'm going to zoom in all the way because this is 16 by 16, so a very small picture. And now I'm just going to do some pixel editing, and I will come back to you with the final product. Alright, so basically what I have done here is I just adjusted the hue and saturation and lightness uh, to just make it look a little bit more like it's made out of spider eyes. Um... And now I'm just going to add a little bit of custom things, maybe curve up these a little bit more, that's what I'm thinking, uh, just to make it look a little bit better. Ooh, I like how that looks. I think maybe I should shade this bottom part, the darker color, and then grab that, and like that. Ooh, I like that, okay. Okay, so this is my new leaping sword. Uh, this is kind of inspired by just fangs of spiders, I guess. Not that they really have fangs, but I think it kind of fits. Um, because it's made out of spider eyes. Um, so yeah, this is my texture. So now what I'm going to do is file and then save it as. Alright, so I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to call it leaping underscore sword. So you do have to keep this in mind. Don't just name it something random like spam a bunch of numbers because that's going to be just harder on yourself. So I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and it should appear. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this. Yep, okay, because it's a PNG and there it is. So we have our leaping sword texture. Now I need to make the file that's gonna tell it when to use it. So in my Minecraft resource packs folder, I already have a ton of these files. They're called dot property files. Um, so I'm gonna find one for a sword because I'm gonna try to kind of replicate it. Emerald blade, here we go. So I'm gonna open this. And now all I need to do is edit it. So basically, it just says type equals item. Uh, if you don't already have one of these files, you will have to type this out. Or just uh, download the, the link I have in the description for just to download my resource pack. And then you'll be able to edit it from there. So type equals item. And then items equals Minecraft colon. And then this is the item that you want to be swapping out. So because a leaping sword is normally a gold sword, I'm going to type gold underscore sword. And so this is just the um, the name of the item in the game. So if I go back to my Minecraft, where did you go? Okay. So you can see if I press, hold on, whoa, what just happened? Okay, I'm in F1 mode. So you can see underneath my sword, where on aspect of the end it says rare sword, it says Minecraft colon diamond sword. Uh, you can access this if you can't see it by pressing F3 and H, I believe. F3 and H. And that should have turned it off. Yeah, you can see it's gone. So if I press it again, F3 and H, it should be back, and you can see it. Uh, so that's basically just the what you want to type in there. So because a leaping sword, I actually have never owned a leaping sword, but they're in the auction house. They're a gold sword, uh, the same as pigment sword, obviously. So Minecraft, oh, it, oh, that would have been bad, actually. It's a golden sword. Okay, I need to make that better. Okay, yes. Okay, I'm glad I did that because that would, I would have had a problem. So leaping sword right here, you can see Minecraft colon golden sword. Then the next thing you're going to want is mbt.display.name equals eye pattern, and then in asterisks the name of the item. So leaping sword for me, leaping space sword. You're not going to want to use an underscore because an underscore isn't used in the game. It's on small screen, so you can't actually see it. That's a pigment sword. Leaping sword. You can see there's no underscore between leaping and sword. Thus, I'm not going to put an underscore in this name. So now all I need to do is file, save as, and this is going to save right into my resource packs folder, and I actually don't want that. I want it to save to my desktop. So this is not going to be called Emerald Blade. This is going to be leaping underscore sword. You want it to have the same name as your PNG file, uh, so the game knows what it's doing. 
Leaping Sword, um, okay. And then you're gonna want to not save it as a .txt, go to all files, and then type in dot properties. Just like that. And now it will save it as a dot properties file. So if I click save, you'll see it appear right there. Now it's a dot properties file. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy both of these and now I wanna find my resource pack. So here's my Minecraft, no that's the wrong one. It's under items, so I'm just gonna backtrack to MC Patcher, Kit, and then Melee. And now I'm just gonna paste it in. So you can see they both appeared there. I have Leaping Sword Texture now. Now I'm gonna have to restart my game to see the actual changes. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so now is the moment of truth. I'm gonna check the auction house and I should see, I'm already there. Okay, I'm gonna go to Leaping Sword until I see it. There it is, Leaping Sword. It kind of looks like a cactus, but red. That's a little weird, but I like it. Uh, so yeah, you can see my texture has been implemented in the game. It's not going for any other golden sword, such as the Silk Edge Sword or the Pigment Sword. It's not overriding that. So this is just a custom texture for exclusively things named Leaping Sword. Uh, so you can see, if, even if I go into a single player world, so I'm in my world that I was in at the beginning, I'm going to grab a gold sword and just name it Leaping Sword, and it should change textures. So Leaping, that's a, not a Leaping, Leaping Sword. So the second I do the D, it updated. So now you can see it's a Leaping Sword. If I delete the D, it goes back to just being a Leaping Sword. And we don't want a Leaping Sword, we want a Leaping Sword. Now I've got a Leaping Sword. It's the first Leaping Sword I've ever owned. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, thank you for watching, I guess. That's not really how English works. Um, but yeah, this is how you create custom textures. There's going to be folders uh, and downloads to them in the description. So, if you want to copy my uh, properties files or just you want to just have my resource pack, that'll all be down in the description in my resource pack folder. You have to download that and then open it up for yourself. Uh, if you want to make a custom one, just create a folder, zip it up, put it in your Minecraft resource packs folder. It's fairly self-explanatory. I think you probably know how to make a resource pack. You're just looking now how to create a custom resource pack for custom items. Uh, and with this resource pack, you can actually do some 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 weird things, such as. Uh, all right, I think this is a great time to mention that if you download my resource pack, you'll find a secret surprise waiting for you. It might have something to do with what I was about to show you in this video, maybe not. you have to find out for yourself. Uh, so yeah, if you guys found this video helpful in any way, thank you for watching. I just destroyed a grass. Let's not do that. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll maybe see you later. Peace out. So in the description, you will find downloads to paint.net. You'll find a download to my resource pack, full, my resource pack, just the one I'm using right now. And you'll probably find a, a download to just the default resource pack in case you want to edit that at all. And I'm pretty sure that's it. If I forgot anything uh, to say it right now, it's probably already in the description while you're watching this. Uh, so yeah, just go look down there for anything you need resource-wise.